All right, joining us now is our RISE Director of News and Politics, Editor Somna Sambo. Mm. Somna, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. INEC has started distributing materials to states, Kaduna, Ocean State, and CBN has eventually released Naira, new Naira notes to INEC so that uh, the ad hoc staff can be paid. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts along these uh, happenings or developments? Very interesting developments, uh, Christian. Uh, the relationship between the CBN and INEC is beginning to improve over time. You know, there was an initial uh, sort of loss of confidence, but you've seen that, you know, both parties are now working very well to ensure that these elections are delivered for Nigerians promptly. But I will urge uh, the security agencies, especially the intelligence agencies like the DSS, EFCC, and the other anti-graph agencies to also monitor the disbursement of those funds so that mm. the recs and um, other ad hoc staff and all of that that are going to handle the cash actually use the cash for, for the, the logistics that it is yeah, meant for. for because you and i know that everybody's facing cash this, crunch. <laughs> this cash crunch and if it gets into the hands of people, no, people they may just, they may just want to people, <laughs> a lot of nigerians are fraudulently cashing in on it yeah, you know, yeah i mean which is not yeah i mean it's economy. a sad development yes. but of course i mean look when you don't have any monies in your pocket and mm. you see cash uh, the tendency Temptation. for people to want to you know be tempted to corrupt the process and is that's there. corrupt so yes of course uh, so the, both the uh, uh INEC, uh, supervisory officials and those that you know will be disbursing this money should ensure that this money is actually used for what it is because i mean if you go to certain areas there are areas where you can't use vehicles you yeah. need to use boats mm -hmm. even some areas you need to use camel and all of that and you need cash uh, so this cash should be uh, used for what it is meant for and for the sensitive election materials uh you know we have seen you know cbn and INEC having some challenges because of the mfla uh, bid to actually contest the uh, presidential ticket of the APC. But uh, over time, there's been a restoration of confidence. And with this, it's good to know that the CBN is playing a critical role to support INEC in the delivery of this last mile, you know, sensitive materials. Because if not the CBN that can keep these materials, who else? Hmm. Anybody else can tamper with these materials. Hmm. And over the years, uh, we've always had the CBN playing this key role. So it's good to see both of them coming back, uh, 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 you know, to life in their relationship. Interesting. Let's yeah. talk about another relationship, and that's uh, the governing APC. We had the national chairman hold a press conference some moments ago. And I want to ask you if he's making excuses for the APC governors who sued the government of the APC <laughs> when he says, you know, when he's given reasons why they went to court. Yeah, it was actually a soft landing. I mean, I was there when uh, the national chairman briefed us earlier and he asked questions. Uh, we asked him questions on what exactly is going on with the governing party and its chances uh, in, the, uh, in Saturday's election. And he actually made it clear that, look, um, there's a difference between the government and then the party, mm. though you have a governing party in power. Uh, the, the government actually took some of these policies in, uh, without necessarily consulting the party. And uh, he stated categorically that they as a party have no choice than to toe the government's line because it's, it's their government. Mm -hmm. And so uh, over time they have been helping to support the government. But yes, there are people who feel bad about some of these policies. And the governors are representing people. They are representing their states and residents mm -hmm. and all of that. And if their people are hot, if the economy, the local economy are hot, then the governors as true representatives of their people mm -hmm. will definitely want to seek they will, rise, they will rise up to the yeah, occasion. Yeah, they rise up. But they though they, they, they politicize they, some yeah, of the they issues. they never rose up to the occasion when students were abducted, were, were abducted <laughs> or when they were home for eight, nine months. Asso the tried. governors never went to the Supreme yes, Court I mean, to go and challenge the government. Asso or the government to yes. say, why are you keeping these children uh, And he said it's within their purview to be able to take the federal government to court. But the party is playing a mediation rule and that Nigerians shouldn't use this to crucify the APC ahead of Saturday's election. But why wouldn't Nigerians be angry with the governing party too if they push a lot of people into abject poverty? This The implementation of this uh, policy has been haphazard. I mean, we are taught that the 200 Naira notes will come into full circulation from uh, 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 Monday, but a lot of people haven't still seen the 200 Naira notes. And so a lot of people will go to the polls 
with a lot of anger against the governing party. But the national chairman is pleading and saying, please, mm -hmm. we are APC officials. We are not in government. Our government is different from us. Have mercy on us. <laughs> Take a look, a second look at our candidate and our party's programs. But of course, the party cannot distance itself from its government. Mm -hmm. So there needs to be more cohesion in the governing party. And of course, the president needs to communicate more with his party's officials. Uh, if the national leader of the party, who's supposed to be the president, is not communicating well, and the other national leader, the self-acclaimed national leader that party members bestowed on Tinubu himself, is unable to access information to be able to allow for the smooth running of the party, then there's a problem. Why well, is the president not communicating well with the, with the party? Because I recall that there was a meeting with the APC governors... And the president at that meeting told Nigerians and the governors give to give seven him seven day. days yes. to fix the challenges. They jumped the gun. But, you know, before three days, three hours of that seven days, we saw the governors going to the court. So is it a matter, is it a question of the president not communicating or the party not receiving the communication the president is sending to them? Well, there are several interests in the APC, mm. several interests. And the governors are, are a major factor in um, this political party. And like I had said previously, some of the governors are embittered that they are losing their influence. Mm. If you go back to our previous elections, 2007 and 2011, you see the massive influence that some of these governors used to play. I mean, none of these presidential candidates now would have been joking uh, with these governors if they had enormous influence. Pat so, particularly they, you, with uh, the money that they been withdrawn from. Uh, well, well you can see that they still huh? try to assert their influence by ensuring that they voted Tinubu in. But despite, you know, trying to put themselves in a position to dictate how the party should move, how the presidential candidate should move, uh, they suddenly found out that there's a bigger masquerade in President Buhari who doesn't <laughs> care about all of that. And they've lost their influence in Buhari's image. Mm. And so that is contributing to the anger. That's why some of them are daring the president and say, look, you're not giving us the opportunity to be able to control the political discourse, the political calculations within our party. We also wouldn't go with you. So it's a battle of, uh, you know, of two now, yeah, huh? centrifugal forces within okay. the APC. And it's, uh, may God help them on Saturday if they are able to appease to Nigerians and Nigerians are able to see things <laughs> from a different perspective. But well. this is not surely how to run the governing party of any country. Because Patriarchy there's no enough, time. yes, there is no enough communication. They've opened the flanks for the opposition, but unfortunately, too, the opposition is not united as it was in 2015 to overthrow a governing party. This opposition that's going to this election is divided into an MPP, Labour Party, and the PDP. And may God also help them if they're able to displace the winning party. I mean, the may, governing party. May God help all of us on Saturday. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Samna Sambo, our politics editor here on their eyes, please. Thank you.